So we're on a mission for the, the unicorn of all dips, Copenhagen Southern Blend. We can't find this anywhere in the valley. Uh, we just left a Love's truck stop thinking we might get lucky there. No, no luck whatsoever. So uh, the guy that works there pointed me uh, to a smoke shop about a mile or so up the road. So we're going to try that, see if we get lucky. Yeah, that's a big swing and a miss. So place was kind of uh, sketchy looking pink building. I forgot to get a picture of it. Uh, I did pick up a couple of uh, interesting things in there. I'll show you later. But uh, we've left there and we've gone to a, uh, another place on the reservation here that looks promising. This is a good sized building. Let me show it to you real quick. So, we're going inside to look for the unicorn. Negative Ghost Rider, the pattern is full. So we're creeping along on the surface streets now because while we were looking for the uh, unicorn, the traffic backed up on us. So thanks a lot, Copenhagen. Thanks for not putting enough Southern Blend out there for anybody to find anywhere. All right, so uh, we're back on the patio. We did not find the unicorn. The Southern Blend, I, I don't know if, let alone when, we're going to find that at this point. But I will say this, we did locate the uh, Copenhagen uh, Whiskey Blend. And Paul, you were right. You are the man. This is the best thing I've put in my lips so far. Matter of fact, I, I would rank it up there with my uh, Chew, my uh, Red Man Golden Blend. This is going to be the golden blend of my dips right now. I, I don't imagine finding anything better than that. So, salute. We got our uh, Modelo Especial. We're going to play some cards. about to go down. Winner. This was so good that we repacked first time for that and uh, we are super impressed with it. So enjoying some carbs, sitting on the patio. Nice night here in Arizona. Listening to Steve Earle's boy. Doesn't get much better than that. And lest I forget, your gun porn for the evening. Again, always make sure, like we always do, your weapon is clear. We got a clear weapon. This is a Smith & Wesson Model 1076, 10 millimeter. Way back in uh, the 80s, after the infamous Miami shootout, the FBI realized they needed to move away from the underpowered 9 millimeter cartridge of the day. They finally settled on a man's cartridge and a round that would stop a man, the 10 millimeter, like my uh, 41 Magnum I showed the other night. This is another underappreciated cartridge, and this is a great platform for it. All American stainless steel, nice heavy gun, much, if you look at the uh, grip profile, it's a lot like a 911, which again, nothing wrong with that, that's my favorite platform, 1911. This one has the decocker, as you can see right there. Fantastic gun. FBI used it for a few years then because of some complaints from some small-handed people. They had to move away from the uh, vaunted 10 millimeter. That's how we ended up with the 40 uh, Smith & Wesson. Kept loading the 10 millimeter down until they finally decided they needed a uh, smaller cartridge. Nothing wrong with the 40, but you know if you, you got a pair and uh, you can handle it, 10 millimeter is the way to go.